Hello dear viewers, we're going to take a look at the OnceView 1080p camera today and I'm starting straight up with unboxing it. I actually recorded some of my chicken in the package but the video just got too long and I decided okay I'm gonna cut some of it out. The packaging isn't that important. First thing that greets us is the actual manual and as you can see it's in German here but um, because that's mainly because I ordered it from Germany. If you order it somewhere else you're going to receive the proper language. We have a full-fledged, full-sized CD. I was about to say full-fledged. I mean, the mini ones are also full-fledged. So full-sized CD with the with the drivers. You know, although there are no real drivers, but rather software. We have a really bad uh, line cable, as you can see, some kind of stand for the camera. If you want to mount it on a wall or something like that, and uh, we have, of course, the antenna, Wi-Fi antenna, because this is a Wi-Fi device some kind of screws here for mounting on the wall and some kind of certificate of authenticity i would say yes there we go and uh it confirms also probably that they have uh, quality controlled this and the actual camera as well and as you can see the camera actually feels and looks much better in person than it did in the pictures which is surprising and rarely the case uh what we have in the back well it's pretty standard fair again uh, audio in and out we have also a reset button, the power cable goes on left and here we have a full sized SD card. It's not a micro SD but an actually full sized one which is great because those are so much cheaper so you guys are going to be saving as am I and uh, that's great. I don't know why the, why the other companies or well some of the other companies aren't doing this because this really is a great idea to put a full size card in this. But of course, uh, as you can see, the package has some goodies for you, but ultimately it is the bare necessities, when, if we don't count the stand over there, um, that you will really need in order to set this up. And uh, we're going to take a look at how this device functions now. Now I've already set it up, I had a few difficulties because the LAN cable was not good and I attempted to do it with the, with the delivered LAN cable. Now at this point I'm using my own and everything's fine. As you can see I have to download a plugin. I was forced to install Mozilla Firefox because unfortunately Chrome did not support that plugin. And here we are in the uh, actual window where the program is being uh, is gonna greet us at. And uh, as you can see the live video is 1080p. You're going to notice though that it is a bit um, wide angle-ish. As you can see, the edges of the video are a bit tilted, canted, I don't know how to describe them. And you have various buttons up there. You know, you have the button that enables you to hear, you have a button that enables you to talk to the camera. Because the camera can uh, record with sound and will also forward your speaking, which which is pretty funny. This is uh, this is my bedroom here and if there was someone else there, I, would, I could be talking through my microphone and scaring them right now or through my phone. As you can see, the camera supports software zoom, which is, uh, well, it, it's it's okay. I mean, it's a 1080p camera, but you know, software zoom has never really been, has never really been my thing. Now, if you take a look at the, uh, at what else is offered on that screen, we see obviously that we can also pan and tilt the camera uh, just by clicking the edges of the screen. We have different streams, three of them, and each of them will offer us different quality stream. It's going to get gradually worse as we go from the first stream to the third one. And the idea of this is if you're uh, somehow accessing the camera from uh, somewhere else or from your phone, your internet's weaker, uh, you're going to want to check the bad stream because otherwise your lag is going to be huge. And as you can see, you can pan and tilt the camera from these buttons, but you can also do it straight in the actual uh, screen. And here you have uh, cruise options where you basically force the camera to do this constantly and look around. Uh, this is not good for several reasons. The motion detection should be off otherwise it will constantly be, you know, be detecting people. And uh, this is not healthy for these cameras. They shouldn't be moving all the time. They have this function but you shouldn't abuse it. So I, my personal recommendation is just don't make it look around too much. It's not helping you that much and it's not helping anyone. Now I will intentionally walk into frame here just to show you how uh, it looks when there's somebody there and as you can see I'm putting everything in order a little bit. I'm fixing my bed. I'm gonna stand in front of the camera just so you can see that the 1080p really do make a difference. You know it looks so much better. Uh, you can really tell a lot more details. Uh, all in all it, it really is a huge step ahead from 720p although this is hardly news for anyone here uh, we've all seen it and we all know that the difference is huge full hd just looks so much better and it will make a difference if you're trying to figure out who that person is who's potentially taking your stuff you know you don't want that happening 
so that's one of the advantages now the software itself of the camera is uh quite interesting it offers a lot of things now i wanted to first talk about all of them but then we'd have a 30 minutes video so i chose to just highlight some of the main features now here we have obviously the different qualities and um, if you have this camera there's really no reason why you shouldn't be having your mainstream at 1080p and i really think that you should you have the mic strength and the recording strength of the audio you can change the contrast and brightness standard fare here but it's good to know that it's always there you can flip the picture and you can mirror the picture and in the past i was always wondering why and then someone in the comments told me once uh, that perhaps the camera for some reason has to be upside down that's really smart i just didn't come to it hey kudos for you for telling me that whoever you were i'm sorry i just forgot the name in any case um now we're in a more interesting part of it and here you have different windows and these windows have the function of blackening parts of the screen this is again nothing innovative we've seen this many times but again let's take a look the concept is uh, we can cover part of the screen that we don't want recorded or visible at all times. It could be for many reasons, you know, it could, this could be your bathroom over there that for some reason you don't want to see who's going in and out or I don't know. But beware as I'm showing here that as you move the camera, this, this uh, covered area will move with it, obviously. And uh, this can be a problem for you because it will uncover the area. So don't pan and tilt too much. Then we have the motion detections here and again up to four uh, windows which you can set however you like and basically what this is gonna do is uh, whenever there is motion or movement within that area that you have highlighted now I'm playing a little bit uh, with it it's not necessary to do this you can just activate motion detection and the whole area will be anyway but if you just want to do a certain area if you say okay if, if something moves around there where my expensive stuff is hidden for example the camera is supposed to scream and send me emails and and record and so on as you can see, we have also uh, also uh, audio detection here, and uh, I wouldn't go for this. This is really cool because basically it forces the camera to record also if it hears loud noises. But it can be it can backfire on you because many things can create noises unless it's really quiet. I wouldn't use this. And here we have another option where we can select whether the camera should react in a certain way if there's, for example, motion or noise or whatever you, you set it up to react to and whether it should go all out and, and do all these things at once or it should do several things simultaneously. Uh, we have also, of course, the function here where we can set up the camera to record at certain times on certain days constantly. So that means if I tell it to record from, from one in the, even, in the evening, you know, from one in the night, nine in the evening to six in the morning every day, it's possible. And we have the night vision here. As you can see, I'm wandering around. Now, it looks like a lamp over there, but that's a reflection of the of the uh, invisible to the eye infrared light i was absolutely completely in the dark i could not see anything but as you can see it's, it creates even a shadow that the camera will recognize but i myself could not really see anything it was really dark and as you can see it was very good now we obviously have the phone application as well and it's uh, standard fare again we can move the camera pan and tilt at will we can pretty much modify anything we like in the same way as if we were connected on our pc so that's pretty nice and all in all i think this camera is really good i i was um, i was pretty happy with how it was performing everything seemed to be working well the software was uh well fledged out you know it was not simple software not minimalistic this is a high-end camera obviously and it performs like one so i think uh, it's a very good device and yeah i can recommend it if if uh, someone likes it and someone wants it this can be a good choice for you definitely I would like to thank you for watching my video, but please stay for the messages after. See you next time. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if that was the case, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to support my YouTube channel further, you may click on the Patreon side on top, or you can also use the Amazon link that I've provided in the description to buy something within five minutes after clicking on that link. It really helps me, guys, and I'd be really grateful if you did so. In any case, thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you on the next video.